Hello everybody, this is Lyrical, and I am here with Red Embrace Hollywood. So let's go ahead and, all right, get a skin color. Totally have to be black. Oh no, wait, dude. Blue. All right, yep, yeah, we're going with black, for real. Hairstyle. See, I wish I could turn them around so I could see. Alright, I guess we'll do short. Why not? Blue, green. Why does it do that? Ooh, I like the red. Silver. Let's do black and silver. How about that? Hmm. We'll do that. All right. Lip color. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Black. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do all that. We'll do some eyeshadow. Necklace, what do we want? Ooh. Why does it do that to me? Alright, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. Get her all pierced up. Ash. Uh, I don't think I want to do Ash. Let's see. Let's do a name. Well, let's just do mine. We'll do Lyrical. How about that? Alright. Everyone comes to Hollywood for a reason. Saints, sinners, artists, anti-artists, and all of the beautiful people in America. On September 24th, 1996, I became one of those people. But why did I go to Hollywood? Huh. How about to become a legend? I didn't want to fade away as just another nobody. I wanted to be remembered. I had a dream to get my name on everyone's lips. Even if I wasn't quite sure how to do it yet. Of course, that was just the reason why. The how. That was something different. I came to Hollywood as... Hmm. Let's see. An artist creating beauty. A visionary seeking truth, or a rebel making waves. Hmm. Let's go with a visionary. I needed to share my ideas, expose secrets, and question everything I knew about the world. Being a, a skeptic wasn't just fun, it was necessary. In a time so full of confusion, somebody had to shine a light on the truth. And maybe that person was me. For two weeks, I prowled around the Sunset Strip, learning the ins and outs of Hollywood. Each night, I felt my dreams getting closer, more real. The glittering celebrity world was opening its doors to me, beckoning me inside. Until two weeks later, on October 8th, when it happened. I'd gone to a club, but not just any club. One that hosted the darker side of LA nightlife. 
I wasn't disappointed. Eerily beautiful people everywhere, swathed, swathed in dark clothes, slow, hypnotic music, the rattling of dancers in cages. Something felt different about this place. It wasn't just another club. <clears throat> no, it felt more like another world. Oppressive, seductive, terrifying. And maybe I should shut up and let you guys read. <laughs> to calm my nerves, I first the bar and order... Bleh. Yeah, there you go. To order my favorite drink. Something... Mmm. Sweet light. It was delicious, but I didn't get more than a few seconds to enjoy the taste. When I looked up, someone down at the bar was staring at me intently. A tall, dark-haired man dressed in all black, his gaunt face matched by a skull-piercing stare. Gotta love this music.
cool beginning. <clears throat> Does fake love make you less lonely? I don't know. Does it? Oh my god, really? <laughs>
Wow. Did that look? <laughs>
I like that picture. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> wow. Okay.
All right, guys. Well, this was fun. I think what I'm going to do is stop here and I will continue on another time. <clears throat> I hope you guys um, are enjoying the uh, game so far. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.